news, I get all these flash reports, and they're telling me about the border, they're telling me about China, they're telling me about Iran. How are we doing with Iran? I feel like that. Well, they were ready to make it, yeah, they would have done anything, they would have done anything. And this guy goes and drops the sanctions, and then he says, we'd like to negotiate now. We're not dealing with the United States, they don't want to, oh, they don't want to deal with us. In China, the same thing. They never treated us that way, right? We saw what happened a few days ago. It was terrible. And uh, the border is not good. The border is the worst anybody's ever seen it. And what you see now, multiply it times ten, Jim. You would know how to handle. He's the only one I know that might handle the border tougher than me. But we have to. And the topic is in the most humanitarian way because that's what it is. What's happening to the kids? They're living in squalor. They are living like nobody has ever seen anybody. There's never been anything like what's happening. And you're going to have hundreds, and you have it now. They have the airplane photos, the shops, and they call them shops. And these things are showing thousands and thousands of people coming up from South America. And it's going to be, it's just, uh, look, it's a disaster. It's a humanitarian disaster from their standpoint, and it's going to destroy the country. And frankly, the country can't afford it because you're talking about massive, just incredibly massive amounts, our school systems, our hospital systems, everything. So it's a rough thing. And I just say, do you kiss me yet? <laughs> uh, as we were saying, we did get 75 million votes. Nobody's ever gotten that. They said, get 66 million votes, sir, and the election's over. Well, I got 75 million, and they said, but you know, you saw what happened. 10.30 in the evening, all of a sudden, they said, that's a strange thing. Why are they closing up certain places? But, you know, a lot of things happening right now. I just want to say, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to have you at Mar-a-Lago. You are a great and beautiful couple. And